In the final game of an action-packed 1st of January, St. Crew United face Castle Juniors in the under-18s Jerry Burrell final at Seaview. Crew went into this final favourites and had a number of chances early on. This Stephen Mooney strike from the edge of the box going just over the crossbar. Castle got the ball down and carved out a chance for themselves here. Ryan Hayburn shot from this tight angle saved by Donny Nelson as Crew cleared their lines. Crew should have scored here from this corner. A loose ball inside the six yard box, but Mooney somehow missed the target. Crew United will be kicking themselves with the amount of chances they had. Jamie Devaney here dragging this shot wide of the post. They finally tested Castle keeper Daniel Wark. Front man Mooney again. The goalkeeper pulling off a diving save to his left as Castle marshalled out any further attack. Crew United finally took the lead in this final. A great run down the right hand side by Phil McPeak. His inch perfect cross into the box found an unmarked Devaney who volleyed past Wark in the Castle goal. Into the second half and Crew came out early and nearly made it two. This deflected cross from the right hand side coming off the crossbar. Castle Jr. said Daniel worked to thank for keeping this game at 1-0. The shot stopper pulled off this fantastic save from distance, denying Jared McDonald. It just wasn't Stephen Mooney's night in front of goal. The crew forward once again put through, but Wark made the save. The longer the game went, it gave Castle the hope of nicking a goal. This free kick in from the right fell to Matthew Millen. His team effort saved by Nelson. Castle Juniors came close once more. Ryan Hayburn beating his man before cutting inside. His strike across goal the wrong side of the post. The luck was very much on Castle's side as they equalised. Nelson's punch coming off the back of Robbie Newell's head as it crept across the line. There was still time for another goal in this final. Crew the most likely. Niall Richmond had a chance here. Daniel Wark, however, made the save. Wark was on hand to punch clear this dangerous free kick from the left, injuring a crew player in the process. And the referee brought a close to this final at Seaview. 1-1 it finished, with the winners being decided by penalties.